Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Good traveling with you, Corvo. You know what to do next time? Welcome back, Lord Protector. There he is. Good voyage, sir. Have you ever met my niece, Callista? She's getting more beautiful every year. Hello, sir. Her Majesty is waiting in the pavilion. The Spymaster is with her, but she'll want to see you right away. Corvo, you're back! Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. All right then, let's go see Mother. Mother told me that your trip was important. She's been worried. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. She'll see you at once. <laughs> Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed. I'll be happier back with the watch. So. Run with I'm me. no diplomat. They're sick people, not criminals. Oh God, We've gone there. beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo, two days early, full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news Follow have you me, brought? Captain. We should leave them alone.
I hoped that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! <laughs> Thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Protect her. You're the only one who'll know what to do, won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him. Chance, Corvo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. Ah! Ah! <sighs> That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time, and someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. Guards! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Got eaten alive at cards. Another night, another patrol with you. So many people are coming to the execution tomorrow. It's on account of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. So it's an occasion. Right. event for the high and mighty 
Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. They're as bad as us betting on the dogfights. Attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Chance you'll share your food with me tonight? Huh. No, no, stupid god damn it. No, but somehow. Oh, you got it. That's it. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. Solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crew unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. Escort to the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice.
vicious again. Though he's taken more punishment than the two men we brought in for interrogation. When he wakes, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for the murder isn't critical, but it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress is not a trivial matter. Slug, did you patrol the yard? Sorry, not yet. I was gonna report that boiler leak from yesterday. Forget it. Just do your rounds. The report's trouble for both of us. I'm moving. Attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews, unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance. Anything scary? One week Shut notice. up. Huh? Solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. Escorts through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Corvo's execution is tomorrow, right? Yeah, but everything has to be set up today. I can't wait to see his head roll. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. You always amuse me. assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. You won't stay in for long. I know you're somewhere around here.
solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the walk. Shut up. Must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. <laughs> out of the prison. I guess if you'll kill the Empress, you don't care about a few guards. Shut up. Look at this stuff. Somebody's been down here. Bottles. Yeah, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Hey, if we're lucky, one of them will get Corvo. You're afraid of him? He's Sir Conan. It's all merchants and whores down there.
flooded district? Yeah, but screw that. That's too far. I don't want to catch the plague, do you? No. Doesn't the elixir prevent it? Maybe. Either way, let's just jump them down there like a rat's like Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Several brave officers of the state are dead by his hand. He is to be captured or killed at any cost.
He won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Smells like a dead weeper in here. They come here to die sometimes in the dark. Just slip into the water, don't come out. the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Several brave officers of the state are dead by his hand. He is to be captured or killed. Bravo. Over here. Quickly. I'm a friend. I'm Samuel. And I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. This is the Hound Pits pub, closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, 
the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. I expect they're hard at work in there. Let's join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. I'm sure the Admiral is anxious to meet you. It wasn't easy getting so you here. starting at last, Admiral. He found our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slept. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be... ...crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Good to have you with us, Corvo. Nothing against the others, but there's no substitute for a man who's done his service for the Crown. If I may, I am the personal assistant to Lord Pendleton, and one of the senior servants at Pendleton House, as was my father. Now I am entrusted with this house, the home of the Loyalists. I have never... Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in happier days, been installed at last but you might not no remember. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent. Agent 
Due to risk of infectious contact, violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. My, you must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. I'm sorry it's so dark, we can't risk being seen. It is a bit romantic though, isn't it? attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. I used to be the hostess here. Oh, I could tell you stories about that, believe me. I don't need to tell you, if the authorities investigated this place, we would be hard-pressed to explain ourselves. The Admiral served in the Navy under the Empress. But something happened with the Lord Regent that drove the Admiral out. If I understand it right. Attention Dunwall citizens, be advised the river crust infestation has spread downriver as far as... The Admiral Havelock made it very clear that we aren't to carry lamps outside. You can call on Cecilia for the more menial tasks. It's what she's suited for. I hope the bed's to your liking. Let me know if you have trouble sleeping. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear, all custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Assassin's Mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face, but this mask is giving you terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Set the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? 
I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic, and now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me.
days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. is the end of all things and the beginning. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, 
but know that I will be watching with great interest. infestation has spread downriver as far as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he Any won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he... I had a sailor for a boyfriend that. once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pemdithian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Are you a nobleman, Corvo? No one seems to know much about you. By your bearing. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart. Piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That... another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer. By the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the house pits. Oh, Corvo? If you've a moment. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. <laughs> 